first bankruptcy in August and then the sale in November. But Barney's New York has finally and permanently closed its doors forever. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 clothing stores that don't exist anymore. This really is a, it's a heartbreak. It didn't have to happen. For this list, we'll be looking at our favorite former retailers that sadly closed up shop. Before we get started, let us know in the comments what store you'd like to see make a comeback. Number 10, Barney's New York, a Manhattan staple. Barney's New York was a long-standing haven for fashion lovers. But sometimes, even if you're not sure of your direction, you can find your way to something wonderful. You know, they had these over there in the... I swear, I looked and looked, and then I thought, best if she finds me. Selling major designer brands like Armani and Comme de Garçon. The luxury retailer opened in the roaring 1920s. What began as a low-budget men's retailer by founder Barney Pressman turned into a landmark for locals and tourists. But if he did anything, he always gave the people of this town what they wanted, their money's worth. His name is Barney. After decades of dressing New Yorkers, Barney's became known as another B-word, bankrupted. What uh, Barney's cites as reasons for their bankruptcy is the same reasons we've heard over and over again by bricks and mortars, meaning that they have excessive rent to pay. In fact, Barney's has paid double the rent in the past year, $27 million. 2019 saw the closure of the fashion hotspot as Saks Fifth Avenue acquired it. Although there are plans to reboot the brand in pop-up shops, Madison Avenue will never be the same. I think it's sad. It's been the place you come and you buy things, but you also meet friends. Uh, it's a great neighborhood and a beautiful store. Number nine, Filene's Department Store. Oh, sweetie, you are coming with me. A landmark of Boston, Massachusetts, Filene's Department Store was a New England institution. Built in 1912, Filene's flagship store was an impressive architectural feat. After the original Filene's massive success, the business expanded into Filene's Basement, a discount version of its predecessor. Filene's Basement customers come in all shapes and sizes, and you don't have to be rich to wear designer names. You just have to be fast. It's like a zoo in here. Eventually, the historic and much-loved retailer was absorbed by its competitor, Macy's. However, the prominent building remains, thanks to the luck of the Irish brand, Primark, who currently resides there. Number eight, Mervyn's. Can you believe it? Mervyn's is having a super sale just in time for Christmas shopping. I'll save on all my presents. Yes, as soon as they open. One time, this chain was in the top 100 American retailers. Founded in 1949 in California, Mervyn's was an affordable department store that sold everything from apparel to houseware. The convenience and selection made the franchise a favorite for families. And the one-stop shop even occupied some space in malls. Sales don't even have to go up for this retailer to be considered successful. Operating nearly 200 locations by 2006, the retailer started to reduce its stores over the next few years. With the weight of declining sales on their shoulders, Mervyn's eventually was forced to file for bankruptcy. What makes this especially unnerving is that no one at Mervyn's did anything wrong. 18,000 families, their lives shattered because of decisions made by private equity bankers thousands of miles away. There were plans to pivot the business online, but over a decade later, that idea still hasn't come to be. Number seven, Gadzooks. What started as a t-shirt business in the 1980s Texas grew to be an expansive franchise. Marketed towards teenagers, every Gadzook store featured a Volkswagen Beetle and clothing as youthful as their customers. Selling to both male and female genders, the brand completely abandoned their male clients and shifted focus to women's fashions in 2003. To promote the change, the store launched a campaign that was deemed sexist thanks to slogans like Stop Equality plastered across their signage. The bad move was the start of the decline for Gadzooks. Eventually, they filed for Chapter 11 and, in a wicked twist of fate, was bought out by competitor Forever 21. Number 6. The Limited. How is the weather in the Windy City? You know, our fall collection at The Limited is just perfect for your next visit. The weather was you just turned small talk into merchandise talk. In the 90s and 2000s, there was no better place to find women's business casual attire than The Limited. Dress pants, blouses, and sweaters were the bread and butter of the company that even acquired other retail giants such as Victoria's Secret. 
However, like many stores of the era, the Limited fell victim to online retailers, failing to keep up with their digital competitors. In 2017, it was announced that the brand would be closing up all 250 locations. Right away, you can tell the deals must be good because the store is already nearly empty. Everything in the store is 80% off. That even includes the hardware and the mannequins. Today, the store continues to operate online, but it doesn't replace the feeling of finding your next great workplace outfit in person. Number 5. Arden B. Born out of the wet seal empire, Arden B was a smaller but much loved version of its parent company. Prioritizing company designs, the store sold to shoppers seeking trendy and sophisticated looks at affordable prices. Well, this, this is, is what I'm talking about right here. A decade after its launch, the retailer had 80 stores in malls across America. In 2014, clients' hearts were broken when it was announced Arden B was out of business. The plan was for Wet Seal to move into the soon-to-be vacant storefront, but as any more fan knows, the retailer didn't have a happy ending either. Number 4. Wet Seal Spread across the United States and Puerto Rico, Wet Seal was once one of the hottest and most popular shops for teens and young adults. Known for its trendy styles, it was initially called Lawns from 1962 to 1990. Spinning off other stores like Arden B and Blink, Seal was a retail empire. But like many empires before them, there was a collapse. Beginning to shut down a handful of stores in 2015, the company filed for bankruptcy. A victim of the retail apocalypse era, Wet Seal disappeared from every mall in 2017 and pivoted to a more fruitful online shop. Number 3. Esprit In 2020, the world was changed forever by COVID-19. The ongoing pandemic has seen the demise of countless businesses. Retailers were hit especially hard, and one of those victims was Esprit. Since its inception in 1960 San Francisco, the fashion line has sold everything – clothing, footwear and accessories. After enjoying being a global manufacturer with locations in malls worldwide, Esprit began to close stores. And shares fell about 73%. So as the doors begin to close, one is left to wonder about the future of Esprit clothing and whether the iconic brand will survive a declining market. But the business took its biggest hit in 2020 when it announced the closure of all its sites in Asia due to the severity of coronavirus. Still operating online, the company is just one of many that found solace in the digital realm. Number 2. Limited 2 The younger sister to the Limited, Limited 2, was a spin-off retailer that was a pre-teen's dream come true. From skirts and ponchos to jeans and tees. Stocked with everything youthful, vibrant and sparkly, two made for the perfect back-to-school shopping experience. Isn't that cool? However, much like its clientele, the retail industry eventually outgrew the brand, and by 2009, the Limited 2 was no more. The same year, the business announced that several of its stores would operate under the new name Justice. Although middle schools kept the company thriving for many years, Justice was also forced to close their storefronts in 2020. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Delia's if you were a teen between 1993 and 2010, chances were Delia's was a staple in your closet. The youth-based retailer was the quintessential back-to-school shopping location and earned a dedicated fan base that kept the well-oiled machine running for years. Founded by Yale University grads, the business became known for its iconic catalogue, which featured their expansive selection of products ranging from footwear to clothing to cosmetics. But like all good things, Delia's reign had come to an end. Closing all storefronts by 2015, the fashion found a saving grace online. Currently running under the retailer Dolls Kill, the website continues to service a new generation of teens carrying on the Delia legacy. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.